Hello everyone, it's Rita here and I am very excited today because yesterday I hit the 3,000 mark uh, subscribers and I just want to thank each and every person who's ever uh, subscribed to my channel. I know some subscribe and they don't come back but either way, you know, it's they're still there and um, they can probably still see videos pop up from me and watch whenever they can. So, um, I'm going to work on this um, giveaway journal um, until it's finished so I can do a giveaway. Um, it's pretty much, well, it's not finished, but I don't know. I still have to figure out a closure and stuff like that. But I've been working, like here I put um, this pocket on, I um, attached it as a flip. And um, that one I made out of, uh, what do you call it, paper, wrapping paper that I bought on Amazon. I loved it because it had that checked on check on the back. I don't know if you can see that. <clears throat> and I hope, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I never bring water or something to drink in here. Um, I, uh, I hope I don't lose sound this time. I don't know what happened uh, to my last video. It just... Just one, not my last one, but the one before that, because I have one ahead of this. So anyway, um, <clears throat> so I just um, like on this one, I was having a hard time finding a right size journal card for in there without actually making a whole journal card. So I just took um, some one of the prints that I had left over um, that I had trimmed off, and so I just folded it in half like that and down. I put a little ephemera right there, cluster. You can write on this one. It's obviously uh, uh, light enough to do so. And then you can write all, all inside there. And then I put a little paper clip, rusty one, just to give it some little pizzazz there. And I put a, a tab on here and some lace on that side. So, um, but someone had asked me um, about this little paper clip that I was using and I got this from Lisa and they said um, they would like to see me make it because they've never seen one so um, I was looking for some gold paper clips I like gold um, so I, it's a very simple simple concept so I'm just going to try to make one and we'll see what happens so the first thing you need is a piece of card stockish sort of um, paper. Now this one is a scrap from Tim Holtz, and I, it's not quite as big as this one, but I don't think that matters. Um, if it does, I have some other uh, card stock here that's left over, and I could, you know, make it bigger. But to match maybe this journal, I don't know if it'll match it or not. <laughs> so. Anyway, um, so the piece I have is uh, two and three quarters, and this one is, let's see, the width. This one is three, and I'm sure it's three by six. Oh, you know what? That rem Where are those papers I had? Um, oh, what I, I just had, six by... Six by six papers. I don't know what I do with them. They were from the dollar store, and I was trying to make something with them. Oh man, I don't know what I do with things sometimes. It's crazy. I, I gave up on it, I think, on what I was going to do with them. Okay, well, anyway, if you have a six by six um, piece of cardstock and cut it in half, you've got your you know three by three which is a great idea so I'm gonna uh, mark this at six and cut it down <clears throat> yeah I don't know what I did with that hmm. and that cardstock uh, or those six by six papers at the uh, dollar store they're not bad at all they're white on the back, but their their cardstock is as strong as this one I'm using. It's Tim Holtz. So 
So let me get, I don't know what's going on, but the sirens are like crazy out there. It always scares me. And it's so weird because one of them sound like the British were coming. It was that different siren noise, not like our sirens. So I could not figure out what was going on. Okay, so then you fold that in half, obviously, and this is where the paper clip goes. But I think we need to put the pages in, too. But what I liked about this little paper clip thing is every time I go to make a notepad, my papers always end up, like, because you usually just fold them in half. Where is one? You know when you cut your strips? What do I don't have any? When you cut your strips, you usually fold them in half, like this one. And so, if you put them in a notebook, they're going the wrong direction. Well, this one, you can put them in individually. So, I'm just going to move that. And, of course, these are going to need cut down because they're a little too big. So, I think I found all these little um, cool ones. So, I think that... Four is enough, maybe. All right, so we're gonna rip those down, or maybe I can just cut them. Let's cut them. If I was, if it's a three by three, I think I would cut them. Uh, say two and three quarters by two and three quarters. So you'll know that they're going to fit. Did I do that two and three quarters? I bet I didn't. I did it two and a half. Duh. Two and three quarters. Wait a second. I don't know what that is. It's about three eighths. It's a half inch. And they don't all have to be perfectly even either. They can be ripped or they can be designs, um, anything that you would like to put on. Okay, so now we're going to take that and we're going to put this in here like so. And it looks like this was scored. So, let me get my score back. Oh, here's a tip of the day. When you don't know the exact size of something that you want to score, let's say you want to score it at a half inch, but but you don't know for sure because you can't measure it or whatever the reason is. If you put a line on your scoreboard, you can, actually you should probably mark it down here too. But you can line this up if you darken one of your lines to make it straight or whatever, you know, you want. Ooh, let's see. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. thought I did something wrong. Okay, so now I'm going to do that. And this needs to go all the way to the edge. Um... That paper clip might be a little bit too too big. Let me get a silver one. Sometimes they're just um, a little different. So you don't have to worry about um, as far as I can go because I need to come back and staple this I don't want to staple into, the, into that metal oh darn I probably needed to make it bigger so I'm just going to use a smaller paper clip I don't 
think it'll matter at this point just so I don't have to refold it but next time I will so next time I will take this and score it for the width that this is okay so that works there and then we're just gonna take our punch I mean punch our staple stapler and we're going to staple yeah right on that seam and on this seam just a couple staples you could put more actually I probably should have went a little bit lower on that but there's your there's your little booklet is that not cute I love it thank you Lisa okay so now we could put something on it and I looked and looked and looked for the right I did kind of want to put some of this on it for the right size which I didn't have a cluster and I didn't have a flower she sent me these but I felt like I was just pulling out a color that I thought I kind of felt like that was um, you know that might work if I just change this to a different color let me this in my ink I'm gonna get that the whiteness gone this is frayed burlap if anybody wants to know just kind of tone down that white part she already painted it kind of a brown color and let me get my circles and see if um, whoops. If I have something that will tie in. Hmm. What size circle did you use, Lisa? Let's see. Oh. Hmm. oh, she stapled it. I was going to say I could put a, a frad there, but I... All right, I think I'm just gonna use that one because it's neutral and it's, I have more, they're just not handy. I think these are too small. Yeah, I don't know what, this must be half inch. This is an inch. this I should put some oh I see she has this in the middle so I'll have to find something to put in the middle of it so I hope everybody <clears throat> is staying warm and not having to drive the weather everywhere um, seems to be I'm gonna offset that a little bit uh, bad and I mean, we have, our temperature today is 10. That was this morning about 8 o'clock. Let's ink around this. I hope you guys don't mind me doing this today. I, I was just going to work on that on the journal, but... I love it when somebody has an idea and I can, um, I don't remember staples sticking out. Oh, yeah, they are. Okay. I need to push these down because I don't want somebody getting hurt. I think she glued hers in there, but I wonder if I needed to do that because maybe the, the yeah, see, that's going to come out. Okay. I didn't think of that. That's good. Let me see if I can get this one down there. There. It's a little tight right there, but that's cute too. You could use it for a bangle or something. I don't think I'll need to. Yeah, let me just. 
Next time I'll glue it. Oh, come on. <laughs> How many times do you have to stab it? Alrighty, let's put some of this behind this. I love this paper you get in packaging, although I don't get it very much. I think I've had this for a long time. I, you know, came in a wall, a Walmart package with a can of chicken soup. It was so funny because I didn't realize that I was ordering it. I was ordering it at the grocery store when I was placing my order, and evidently. Um, no, that's too straight. That particular soup wasn't available in the store, so they shipped it to me. They don't do that stuff now, I don't think, because they charge. Even when they substitute, they charge you. Um, the the price of the item that they exchange it with, which is usually two or three times more than what you wanted to pay. So, um, I'm trying to think, maybe just um, a word across here would work. She has a word up there at the top. Uh, that's cute. I like these black words, they go with everything. sticky on the back. I must have glued it and changed my mind. Okay. Like that. These would be so cute to send to, you know, a happy mail or something like that. like something in the middle, but I don't know. Butterflies too cutesy. Um, she had, she has this. Uh, I like that. This is one that I cut out of, out of a page, a document. I think it was like a court, uh, like a property transfer or something. I'll have to do that on on camera. I don't think I did it. Okay. Still need something for the center. Let me see. I have. left in this book so I've taken most of the stuff out of here put it in my folder now there's the music page oh well nope not nothing all right this is what takes so much time you know if you don't have it all ready to go I just don't have anything that's tiny. Um, so, I probably didn't need to put a circle in there. Probably could have put anything on. It's not glued down. Oh yeah, it is. Okay.
Here's all my little tiny Tim stuff. Or maybe it's not as tiny as I thought. Fifty cents. go with everything. All right. I can let's get this down. Let me get some glue stick. I slept in this morning. It was so cold last night and I thought, you know what? I'm not I usually set my alarm because I don't like wasting a day, a minute. If I can help it because this is this time of day is the morning is best for me um, in the afternoon I am so done that um, you know I can't sit in my chair here I have to go sit in another in my recliner chair and uh, on the heating pad And I bought this um, like electric converter thing that runs off of the battery in my car. And um, because I want a heating pad in my car just in case, you know, I'm driving. And like the other day, I had to go out a little bit later than normal. And my back is just killing me the whole time. So... I found this thing on Amazon that you can plug your heating pad in. And I have an, a spare heating pad, but do you think I can find it? No. I searched everywhere yesterday, and I'm like, did I give it away, or did I donate it? I get in those moods where I'm like, I'm never going to use this. <laughs> now, I didn't like it. That's why I never used it. All right. I think... We're done. How much time did it take to do that? Oh, 22 minutes. Isn't that cute, you guys? I think that's adorable. Thank you, Lisa. I don't know now if I wanna put this in or this one in that journal. I feel like it's lifting a little bit. Okay, let me move my box. So let's see what, we've got a few minutes to see if I can do something in here. I really feel like I have to, I need to make some pockets. Oh, that's where I need ephemera. Wherever I put a paper clip at the top is where I need to add ephemera. Because I usually try every four pages. I don't know, maybe that's too much, maybe it's not enough. Um, but I think of my journals as journals that you would write in. It's not full of, it has a lot of ephemera, but I mean it's, okay, where is that? Oh, right here. And you guys, this, um, I have the original photo of this, and I, I took it to the, um, what do you call it, shop, the printer, and had him uh, make it a full-size page, redo it. So this was the original copy that they, this is the copy they made for me, they blew up, and I made, I mixed it up and used the original. So now I have to go back to the printer and have them do it again because my scanner does not scan as nice as this at all. Oh, and that reminds me too, on Facebook, our um, page, go over and take a look. I've put up a new, um, a new uh, digital uh, scan 
that I have, uh, which is a passport, and you can go there and download it. Well, actually, you just copy the picture and then you can print it. Uh, it works fine that way because downloads and stuff, it, it's kind of a nightmare. So that's what I did. But I have a couple over there, so if you want to go take a look. And I also have um, a download on uh, Buy Me a Coffee if you want to go over there. They're free. They're just you know, you can just stop in and, and look at it and see. I mean, anybody's, any downloads are great if they're free. And if you like this style of journaling, or my style, whatever that is, you, you'll probably like it. It's a passport. It's an old passport. Okay, so I guess that's about, that's got that, and... Um, I think, I don't know if I made this on, oh yeah, this one, I ripped it. Can't use this. Yeah, and it's really hard to get out. That's why I don't like to um, I think that I was supposed to put that in the this, this smaller hole. Let's see if there's punch it with the um, crocodile. Cause, ouch, there I go again. I'll end up cutting myself. Thank you uh, to all of those who uh, gave me suggestions on what to do about my hands and my um, dry skin and mostly the bruising and all and um, I'm going to do them I'm going to the next time I go to the pharmacy or whatever I'm going to pick up all those things I've already started taking the vitamin D I just started that this morning because one of uh, the subscribers said that she takes vitamin D and that I'm usually low. I do not like this at all. <sighs> How can I fix it? I mean, I could cover this and open this side. I think that's what I'm going to do because this is now this is on the wrong side. But I can put this somewhere else. Alright, let me see if I have a piece of paper. I have a little bit of time, so... Okay, that works. That would have been kind of a flip if I... No, I'm going to cut the edge. So now I'm going to just mark that up there. There's always a fix. There's just no fix for my mess on my desk. No matter how many times I clean it, it's still a mess. There. Okay, what happened? Okay. I guess it's going that way. Okay. I'm going to I can't glue down this part so let me use my glue stick on this normally you would do this Glitter, 
glue or something. And I'm just going to run a little tab of glue down this inside. the size that fit. So I can trim this because it's don't want to work this way, do they? Alright, I'm not going to try that until I can concentrate on it more. scissors. Now, this can go on this side, like that, and I'm going to ink a little paper up, let's see if I can disguise it. to do pockets that way backwards but let's see I don't know if I should punch here I think I'll punch it here take that tab off and see this is where I ran out of time because um, hold on let me put the lid on this this is too precious to lose okay yeah I don't like it going that way all right, so if I take it out of this, I could just put this plain one back in there. straight across from it. All right, let's see. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know how, you know, they put all these in here. But they're different colors on the head. Or maybe I made them that color, I don't know. It's pretty. <clears throat> I think that one matches right there. All right. Oh, I glued too long. I'm capped. Oh. I tell you, <laughs> I just got that cleaned out yesterday and it did it again. Okay. I wanted to try to make this straight across mark. Okay, so it's straight on the bottom here, and then from here to here. It's about right there. Okay. My granddaughter painted me a picture of my little punch thingy. <laughs> I just said, but I put holes in that. She goes, I know. She didn't care if I put holes in it. So, I'm going to put that, okay, now I can decide to punch, I think I will punch it right there so that I can get this in there. took me a half hour to do this. <laughs> it takes a long time to make journals, I tell you. Okay. Now I've got to decorate this, so um, I don't know. I had something short. Oh, let's see. I could always paper clip something to it, right? I have this little notebook that I made. But that I can make simple. I can just put. Um, flower or something. So I'm going to put this on here for now. Hmm. 
Well, I don't like it with this green, so I'm going to have to come back and change the green out. But I probably could. This is like two notebooks together, though. Does that mean? Yeah, that one is not, not going to fit there anyways. Okay. <clears throat> so I'll just do something like that. I'll put a flower here. Um, and then I'll have to put anything there. Now I have this one. And I had this um, pocket I was going to make, and I, oh, you know what? I was going to use this on one of those notebooks. I'll have to make me another one in a few minutes when I have the time. I need one for my um, ephemera stuff. thinking about doing um, like I saw one lady doing a video I don't know who, who she was but she just took pieces of scrap that's vellum that wouldn't hold up very well Okay, I don't really have any cardstock. Um, I do have this. I think this was uh, Roxy's, one of Roxy's creations. I think I need to glue that down. This is Tim Holtz, and it doesn't seem to pick up the ink as well. I think it's because it's got that little bit of a shine on it. Maybe I should try this thing. I got this from... It makes it look a little older, too. Yeah, I got this on Amazon. Because... You know, I needed it. Not really. This one here um, is a scissor sharpener, and it's not very expensive. Um, and it works. I just thought that this one might have some other magic component to it. <laughs> but this actually works also. So if you don't want to buy one of these, you can uh, just buy one like that. I don't, somebody suggested it, I think, I don't remember now, the uh, knife sharpener one. Okay, so this one is over the page type like that and therefore we need another paper clip let me see I think maybe that's a pocket I'm not sure how she had this designed to do because you should be able to open it and journal I guess this was a um, I think you're supposed to glue this down and put a journal card or something up in here I don't know if I want to do that. I'm not loving it. Those aren't going to fit. Alright, I'll have to make a
I've got to fix that side too. Yeah. I'm getting down to the postcards where I really am not crazy about them. You know? I mean, this is cool, but it doesn't I'll probably go in this journal. All right, so I'm just going to stop there and take my time and decide if I want to use this or if it's worth, um, you know, putting in this. I could um, do something like this. Let's see, that would look kind of cool on. Um, going up. Where is my... And I saw this the other day. Um, I'm I don't know where I saw it because I don't always pick up on everything and who did this or what. I just glance up because I'm usually sewing and, you know, doing some handwork. And I'll glance up and I'm like, you know, they did it already. But then I knew what, what it was. Just... Because I have, you know, channels that I like to watch on a regular basis, and then after that, I just let the TV browse it, but because I watch it on TV, because I can't stitch and hold an iPad at the same time, or be able. Well, I need the iPad so I can stitch because it's got my pattern on it. So anyway, they just took a strip like that and made a tag. How cool is that? And I think I'll round the corners on it and just keep it a rounded style tag. I should have cut that edge off a little bit. Whoops. And that one wasn't quite. I don't know if that, no, I don't think it is over. It looks like it's hanging over, but I think that's the design on the tag. This is a good one because you've got journaling, a nice journal space on the back. small, too big, I mean. Hmm. I pulled out a few of my clusters, which I, I have clusters that I have never used. I don't really want something down at the bottom. Maybe I just want to do something like that. Yeah, I just like that. Two staples. And there we go. Nice little journal spot. And then it can go into this, although it's a little too tall. I'll just have to cut it down or just leave it that way. It's not going to hurt anything. And this one, I don't think you need to put, well, if I, I think I need to glue this part down. That's what I need to do. 
All right, I'm going to do that after because um, I'm sure I'm running out of time now. Yeah. But then I'll just put like a word and, or something down here, stamp. I think that's very cute. I think I'm going to do that with, oh, I cut it in half already. Well, I'll make another notepad out of that. All right, guys. So uh, keep watching, subscribe, um, comment, and like. All those things help my channel. And I believe that that's why um, I got to 3,000 in much faster time than I've ever moved along. And I, I think it's because the video pops up more on the uh, algorithm for, you know, what people are typing in, what they're searching for, whatever. And um, that makes a big difference. Um, I mean, when, when you think about it, I don't know how many journal makers there are out there. A lot. And I have not even seen a good... I probably only watched 10%. If that, Not even 10%. I don't know. But, um, yeah, unless they see you, they don't, they don't know to watch you. They don't know where to look for you. So, um, anyway... Thank you so much. I'm excited about my um, 3,000 giveaway, and I'll try to get that done soon. And when I do, I will um, announce it uh, on the flip through. Um, and then a couple days later, I will I will call out the winner. I think. I think. So. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.